Behind me here is little Mario's house, and just down the street from him is where Fire Chief Derek Babcock lives. The chief able to get to the child in just a matter of minutes, those minutes crucial to saving his life. Amelia Espinosa just got back home from grocery shopping with her son Mario. Hungry, the two-year-old dove his hands into a bag of grapes. But then Amelia heard what no parent wants to hear. It was like literally not even a minute and he started to choke. Next thing I know, he turned purple and just went limp in my arms. It was so scary. Bangor Fire Chief Derek Babcock was at home when the call came in but his house just so happened to be a couple down from Mario's, not thinking twice before heading over. Just being in the right place at the right time, this kid was just uh, seconds, if not minutes, from uh, a different outcome. Thinking quick, Chief Babcock did the Heimlich maneuver until the two-year-old could breathe again, while waiting on Van Buren County EMS, who got there 10 minutes later. Once we managed to get his airway open, I used this. This is called a laryngoscope blade, so we can open their mouth, scoop their tongue out of the way, and really lift up their jaw and look straight down their airway. Pulling out the grape and saving little Mario's life. The team coming back to pay him a visit. Look, it's lit up again. Do you remember when you came to the house? And now the two-year-old is back doing what he does best, playing with his toys. All right, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Amelia just thankful Chief Babcock got to them when he did. It makes me feel actually good, <laughs> like knowing there's help so close. I don't even know how to thank them. I am internally grateful for what they did to him. Like I said, he's here because of them. We are so glad little Mario is doing well and is back to playing per usual. Now the CDC recommends these tips to prevent your child from choking. Cut their food up into tiny pieces. Make sure they're sitting up while at the dinner table and avoid any distractions. And of course, keep a close watch on what they're putting into their mouth. And if you do find yourself in an emergency situation, of course, call 911 immediately. We will have all these tips and more on our website, WWMT.com. In Bangor, Autumn Pitcher, News Channel 3. I'm Andy Gimignani. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, we've got much more to see. So take a second and subscribe to our channel.